And for the for the benefit of our younger uh, readers here, can you take us real quickly through a typical training day of, of, of a Morgan? Do you, how many calories roughly in a day? How many miles roughly in a day? Just in, in season I'm talking about. Um, I have no, I mean, so like a workout day is, you know, I, I meet my team in the morning. For, about what time? Um, we meet around 8.30 or 9. Okay. Um, and then we have to drive somewhere to a track or whatever to a run. We do a run or a workout. Our workouts could take up to four hours because it's a warm up, it's drills, the workout, cool down, lifting, stretching, therapy, like if you're icy or whatever. So, I mean, it's like a whole four to five hour. And my mom, when she came to San Diego, I think realized, you know, really how intense it was. Because then I would come home at one, eat lunch, just relax for a couple hours, or, you know, and sometimes I'd have another afternoon workout. So, at, Four o'clock. I'm driving back to the track, warming up, doing my drills, doing the workout, cooling down, and come back at eight o'clock at night, eat dinner, and go to bed. <laughs> and that's like, I mean, that's a rough. That's a busy day. Like it's yeah. not always that bad. Yeah. Sometimes I just have to do a little jog in the afternoon. But I work out. I run twice a day every day, except for some days, which I either have off or is a long run. Mm -hmm. um, and I get. What's a typical off. long run? Um, I do anywhere between 10 and 13 miles. Up a hill, or flat, far It just depends. How yeah. fast? I mean, how, what's your... I usually start off, my first mile is always around 8 minute pace. So I always start off really slow and then, you know, sometimes I'll end up running 620 pace by the end. Or I usually average around like 7 minute pace. Yeah. That's usually what things average out to. Yeah. Okay. and. Do you do, <clears throat> do you do a lot of mix-up work? Do you do a lot of far play? Do you do a lot of resistance training, a lot of hill training, or is it? Um, in the f it just depends on the on the season. In the fall, it's a lot of miles. It's a lot of um, longer intervals. Not so much speed yet. Um, mm -hmm. Hill workouts are always in the fall, and then once we get into season, it's a lot more uh, speed intervals, um, short sprints, but lifting the whole time. I lift every other day the entire season and on the off days we do you know med ball throws or core exercises and feet balancing to you know all kinds of corrective exercises oh yeah we got it was either him or the new prairie coach i was we were getting a chuckle we were looking at your the mammoth track club website and there's like these massive scenic views of the sides of mountains and you guys are running up the side of a mountain he says how do you suppose they get out there oh they've got must have to run out there <laughs> oh, we have, uh, we have all SUVs. I mean, there's just like little service roads everywhere that you drive on or run on. You don't have to go far for the scenery. No, I wouldn't think. Yeah. <laughs> Another uh, uh, technical question, just since we're talking about training. Uh, when you said a while ago you were really working when you run with uh, a couple of the guys, Terrence, and, uh -huh. and you really work on finishing that last uh, 400 meters, 200 meters. Of, what, what's, a, what's a workout? Just give me one workout that um, helps with that in mind. Um, I mean, a, a really standard one is like repeat 400s. Okay. Um, and 10, 20, 60. Excuse me? I said 10, 20, 60. No. No. They're, <laughs> they're like, they'll be race 1500 race pace. So I'll okay. do, you know, sets of four with maybe 45 to 45 to 60 seconds rest. And then um, we work on pace changes a lot. So that's the thing is like, you know, it's to simulate a race. You go out, you know, pretty comfortable. And then, you know, at 2.50 to go, you surge and like bring it home. And then the next one, it's only 100 to go. So basically it's just working on finishing hard from different lengths out. And okay. So, uh, one more question. Yeah, yeah. I said we're gonna wrap it up. It's an hour. Okay. Yeah, that that was really it. Just I'd I'd like to know how you uh, since I've got a boy that's becoming an eight hundred miler type, kind of out of the blue. I just thought, well, how do you yeah how do you accentuate that? And sure. And so and, uh, this one thing I love about our group is we don't really do the same workouts year to year. Like, yeah. Terrence doesn't want us to think that. You know, because you had a successful year, you have to do all the same workouts, and you know mm -hmm. it, it's hard sometimes mm -hmm. to do that. You're like, 
but we didn't do this work on. He's like, you're doing this because I don't understand enough about the energy systems, right? And what what kind of work is working what systems? And he knows like, right? Because I don't know the physiological aspects that. Sure. I just have to trust him and hope that he's leading me in the right direction. When you said you were doing the four hundreds at. Uh, 1500 race pace and you would you would pick it up or go at 250 to go and then 200 to go and then 150 to go was your finishing time always the set right I mean so, so you would go out a little slower but bring it home you know and you were still running that 1500 race pace. basically yeah okay all right yeah. anything else James anything else okay thanks kid all right no problem yeah we could talk all day about that. Okay. <laughs>